Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of Back to the Mat where we're going to be looking over different wrestling based events and today we thought it's the first episode so we should do the first Wrestlemania. Wow that music. <laughs> I was going to skip the intro but I thought it's... No don't skip that. <laughs> I don't know who that guy was. He still looked like Liberace. <laughs> <laughs> Did he wrestle? I, I hope so. <laughs> Welcome everyone, Gorilla Monsoon here at ringside with my colleague Jesse the Body Ventura. Let's go. Oh my god, he's dressed up like the guy from Dumb and Dumber. So we decided to watch WrestleMania 1. I'm joined by Tom, Jeremy, and Brass. What did you guys think of uh, WrestleMania 1? I enjoyed it. Well, actually, first of all, like, what's, <laughs> everyone, <laughs> what's everyone's experience on wrestling, really? Let's say my, my first introduction to it wasn't probably watching it. It yeah. was probably the action figures yeah. and possibly some of the computer games. Um, and then when you get into sort of high school and we, we didn't have satellite TV at the time, which is probably the, the best place to watch it in the UK. Mm -hmm. So it would be a VHS tape passed around the playground. Like, uh, like <laughs> so some people were passing around like pay through girls you were passing around wrestling. O oily, topless sweaty men. men. <laughs> but, and what about you, Tom? Um, I guess it's similar to Brass, really. It's it would have come from the games and the figures, just substantially later. Yeah. So, so what? WrestleMania was ten years before I was born. The one we just watched. <laughs> yeah. Flipping yeah. out. I did get one of the games when I first bought an Xbox 360. Yeah. And I played the crap out of it. Nice. And I Xbox was, 360. Yeah. My first game experience was probably in the Commodore 64 <laughs> from a <laughs> wrestling point what of view. What was the one with the little dot? That's what I had the first console. What? Like an Atari ST. Yeah, you, had like, you had a yeah, that's it, Pong. You had a go. <laughs> Jesus, you, you, you're not that old. <laughs> that was my like, first console. I know, but, you know, but you're <laughs> saying it. You're saying it like that was new. You had for the you. two white bars, and <laughs> then you had one where you had to shoot a little white dot. You, that was my first console. Okay, but yeah. again, but you, that was still out of date when that was yours. Oh, okay. We're the same yeah. age, and mine, my first was an Amiga 500 plus. We were well past Pong at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, your parents just didn't trust you with anything. <laughs> <Not complicated. laughs> So, yeah. what's you and you're you're probably the biggest wrestling fan here, Jez. Um, I've not watched it for a long time. I think. Yeah. Um, I mean, you had for, been the biggest. Yeah, fan. for me, I got into wrestling between '92 and '94. Is when I kind of started dipping into it. From '94, probably till '99, 2000. Yeah. See, the, like the Rock, uh, Rock Stone, Stone Cold, like the Attitude Era, yeah. as they called it, like what, like '97, '98, '99, like yeah. that period. That's the only period that I watched. Going to WrestleMania one. <laughs> Was a bit of a. It, it felt a little bit more like it was being filmed in someone's back garden, like as in it like just yeah, felt yeah. <laughs> definitely dated. And it, de it definitely felt more at the start. It felt like a proper sports event, like a serious thing. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. if you go into what, the boxing, everyone in their suits. Like. And... Yeah, exactly. I mean, that unravelled pretty quickly. <laughs> okay, I didn't realise it's doing that. <laughs> That's what he said. She's like at a wedding, you know, like a drunk uncle gets up. Yeah. <laughs> the American National Anthem is shh. It's, it's a good tune. It's what, complete, yeah. But the, when you listen to the, someone singing it and the words, it's just really shit. <laughs> it's kind of got that kind of boxing event feel to it at the moment, hasn't it? Yeah. 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 I think we need to give a special shout out to who was the really, what was the really awkward guy's name who was, who kept having people walk in front of him? What was that oh, guy's Lord, name? Lord Racecourse. <laughs> His name was not Lord Alfred. Lord Alfred Racecourse. He always sounded like a racecourse commentator yeah, yeah. from the from the eighties, nineties, didn't he? Yeah, you put yeah, and yeah. every time someone came out, they just walked straight in front. He'd be literally in the middle of announcing what the next match yeah. was. Fuck off, just <laughs> watch your run. No one cared. No one, no. The camera's <laughs> over here, man. Yeah, but people <laughs> fuck's sake. He's oh, got his eyes oh, on. Oh shit. Here we go. Wait, the commies are coming. <laughs> <laughs> shall we have a look? Shall we have a talk about the matches yes. and any particular standout thing? So, Jez, do you want to tell us? Because we're never going to remember the, no. everyone's name. So, what was the first match that we saw? So, the first match was Tito Santana. You're going to find out about the big leagues real soon as soon as we step into the ring, Executioner. Arriba! I Arriba? <laughs> I didn't expect the Arriba. And he was the. He, was against oh, he went the against Executioner. The Executioner, mm -hmm. that the guy never, mask. The guy who just came out. Spider-Man oh, yeah. mask. You will know something about me after I get through with Tito Santana. Bring in the gimp. <laughs> the gimp's sleeping. We'll probably get shouted out in the comments. He might be like a really like famous wrestler from the <laughs> 80s, but it, it, it almost felt like 
the other wrestler that was meant to go against Tito was sick. <laughs> yeah. And they just found a big guy in the, in the, in the audience and go, put this mask on, get in the ring. I'm not entirely convinced that the executioner wasn't somebody else we saw wrestle later on, <laughs> just wearing a mask. <laughs> so this is like the warm-up event then, warm-up match. Mate, this is the main event. Oh, fuck, you know, we're taking out the cameraman. <laughs> that, that was the match that we weren't really sure how it ended. So it's quite a quick match. It was a couple of minutes, really. Well, it was oh, a few yeah. minutes. Yeah, that was and Tito won. Yeah, we yeah. know that. And the, the executioner kind of flailed his arms around, mm. and we couldn't tell if he'd, we couldn't tell if he submitted, or oh, if that's the ref, it, had the pulled, end of the ref it. pulled it. Yeah, and we yeah were, it wasn't yeah. like a tap on the mat. It was you know, it wasn't no. anything like that. It was, you know, maybe just it was, looked like he was flailing, strong. and then the ref just was like, the ref was oh, like, that's he's, he's, he's had, had enough. enough. <laughs> <laughs> he's had enough, lads. He's had enough. Take this outside. Special move. <laughs> Get to the ropes, man. Get to the ropes. Is that, is that the rule, right? Oh, is that oh did he submit? Is that, I don't know. Yeah. So the ref called it like boxing, right? So they sort of realised that the guy was in trouble. So I don't think the guy gave up, did it? I don't know. He was, he was, I don't think. Oh, wait a minute. I thought. Oh. Okay. Was it ever going to be anything different, though? The first match, really? No, it was, it was always. Good. I yeah. mean. First WrestleMania live event. Yeah, it was. It was. No, it wasn't terrible, but it was. I mean, the good thing was it didn't have Stay Welcome, and I'll give it that. <laughs> so what was uh What else did we have? Who was next? Uh, we had King Kong Bundy. Oh yeah, uh, the big baby. The big baby. Special <laughs> Delivery Jones. Special <laughs> Delivery. If you're not ready by now, I guess you never will be. Special Delivery. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I know. <laughs> Everybody out there, get ready for the. <laughs> that was. That was. <laughs> expect that. Didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't expect that voice. <clears throat> this, this, this is when I thought actually now this might end up start becoming what we actually think it's going to be. Yeah. Or what, or what we thought, what we think WrestleMania is. All the rest, all WWF at the time in the eighties yeah, yeah, yeah. or late eighties, simply because, and it wasn't the King Kong Bundy guy. Is that his name? Yeah, yeah. It, it was the fact was that he had a manager. Oh, okay. And it was Jimmy Hart, and I recognised Jimmy, yeah, Jimmy Hart from when yeah. I when 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 was the time when I would have been watching. Right, okay, yeah. The biggest He's so hairless. Wrestling should be there. SD Jones, I want you to think about it. I want you to think about being in that corner. I want. Look at his manager, guy. He's just in shadow. He's literally, <laughs> literally, <laughs> he's literally <laughs> plunged him into darkness. <laughs> And Tom, how would you, how would you describe that match? Well, the it was a bit of a stomping, really. It was a squash. I mean, it? special delivery. What he charged at him, got and then grab. got instant put in a bear hug, and then thrown on the floor, and then it was done. Then he got squashed. I mean, you have just spoken through the entire I match. No recollection. It's a match. <laughs> this is one of my favourite matches. He literally, as you said, ran in, jumped at the giant baby, got crushed, mm. thrown in the corner, smashed, fell on the floor, got bashed into, then jumped on. Mm. That was the match. <laughs> done. Good though. I enjoyed it. Is that your favourite match? It was my favourite. <laughs> of the whole thing? I think it might have been. Uh, I think the delivery's going to be late. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> so what was up next? Uh, we had Ricky Steamboat. Was he the one from Miami Vice? Was it, was Ricky it? Miami Vice Steamboat. Ricky yeah. Miami Vice Steamboat versus Matt Bourne. I need that hair. <laughs> You'd look like him if you had that. Hair. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> His glasses look tiny. Oh, Matt Bourne, the one that we said looked like you could look like if you grew your hair and bleached yeah, it blonde. Yeah, yeah. Until the, the next one, guy yeah. came along. And <laughs> <then> <laughs> you could look like that guy. Well, because the other guy looked more dishevelled. Right, the guy okay. who had the, the guy who looked. One dirtier. was me waking up in the morning. Yeah. And one was one me was when I was going out for dinner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you need to grow your hair for the next filming. This sorted. Yeah. Okay. I don't understand why everyone's looking over there. No. You know he just went over there, mate. He's literally feet away from you. As you walked in, he walked out. Come on, Matt Bourne. Come on, Matt Bourne. Every time Matt started to get any kind of momentum up, he'd instantly have it reversed on him. It's quite yeah. A, yeah, it's quite a, yeah. a, a flare, yeah. like, sort of, mm. yeah. Showboat. A bit of showboat, and yeah. yeah. A bit of showboat. There was a lot of flying, yeah. 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 Flying yeah. kicks and flying forearms. And yeah. You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do it like... <laughs> Oh, the butt crack. <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> was this? Matt has literally just got his ass kicked for this entire match. Yeah, I don't think I've seen him on top once. He's actually done any offensive move yet. Every time he tries to, it just goes badly for him. That was not. That wasn't a bad match. I don't think it was going no. in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was going yeah. the right. It started. It was getting the tempo up. Yeah. It just there wasn't much back and forth. It was literally like either Steamboat is gonna just batter him throughout. Or there's going to be a last minute turnaround and some kind of cheap win. Yeah. That was the only way Brass was going to win that fight. Look at that Boom. maneuver. Bam, knocked the wind out of him. 
One. Right down for the three count. Two. What an impressive victory. There. Right. We right, then moved on to Brutus Beefcake. Was this one of the two old dads? But everybody doing such a simple fact that JV is the mouthpiece, and I am out there at that ringside. Should Bruno Seniors? <laughs> it's very cross-eyed. We do his glasses. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's one of the two this famous is, yeah, dads. Was, this is yeah. dad match. more dad, interesting yeah. than dad match. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it, was a good one. Is with it the Sam dad? San Martino? San Martino? Yeah. He looks like a kid in an adult. Oh my body. god. Look at his face. What's that thing behind him? Why is he getting so close <laughs> to him? It looks like something from Dishonored. <laughs> Why is he so close? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he does. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so this might have come, come into. You know, we're talking about the. Um, if there was any weekly shows, yeah, mm. because there was some beef there, wasn't there? It seemed, yeah. So yeah. it was like that must that's obviously come from somewhere. They just dropped it on you on that evening. You're like, <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? What the hell's going on? Well, the dads did seem like they were the dads were previous wrestlers, right? As far as I'm right, aware, okay, at least yeah, I think probably, Dishonored yeah, yeah. was a previous yeah. wrestler. Well, he was definitely a bruiser. Of some <laughs> sort of <people. laughs> He'd been fighting either in the wrestling ring or down the pub. Yeah, these dads probably have a beef at work, and they've got their kids <laughs> yeah, to sort it out on TV. Because yeah, both the dads look like they could be like taxi drivers or something. Yeah, and, exactly. And yeah. they just had a bit of a disagreement yeah. on a affair. Oh. He's a bit like Emilio Estevez. <laughs> like, <laughs> got like <laughs> steroided up. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Can I get one of those shoulder rubs, Tom? Yeah. Go on then. Okay, mate. Go on. It's, it's alright, actually, that is. Go on. It's quite good. There you go. It's got small man syndrome, that one on the left, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell. yeah. He's, there's, some, there's something so weird about the proportions of his body. <laughs> Brutus Beefcake was the first, also the first one that I was, hope, I was hoping to see at some point during this, a wrestler that we'd re recognise later on, other than the big, the big yeah, hitters, so I, I don't recognise him. So instantly I recognise that he was, he's obviously Brutus the Barber Beefcake, who would become Brutus the Barber Beefcake. So did he get a new job as a barber? That that was his new alter ego. Or whatever was he a barber? On. I think he was a barber, and I think he used to wear like a like just a collar with a bow tie. Oh, might be wrong. That's weird. That's pretty. Hot. And that was it. That's that's pretty, that's I remember pretty, one, yeah. one, one bit from a later on episode where he threw someone through a barber shop window. Was it his shop? If that if that's or was why, it an opponent? Yeah. I mean, like, was it his barbershop window or was it like another barber? It was a faux barbershop on the stage. <laughs> this would have been like the early 90s. So this is my memory of it. It probably didn't this happen actually... anything like that. It probably didn't happen at all. It's probably a dream. Yeah. <laughs> I do like that name, Beefcake. We can call you it from now on if you want. Oh. Brassy Beefcake. You would be the first. Yeah, me and your mum. <laughs> <laughs> if you were taking punches to the face like that, like, I'd expect more of a reaction. <laughs> Tom. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna rock your world now, mate. Don't say that. What's that? Wrestling. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It ain't real. Wait, what? I know this might be shocking to you, but you know what? That didn't hurt. We just lost like 600 viewers because you said that they all just clicked off the video. And you I said mean, wrestling's fake. Mate. I mean, it's not fake. I mean, it's the realest thing, realest sport. <laughs> I used to have arguments with my dad that it was real <laughs> when I was when I was young. We also had an argument over that he, um, I swore, loved you I, or not. I swore he'd seen <laughs> the movie Speed and he swore he hadn't. And it ended up being an, a, an argument. Had he uh, seen it? But he'd only seen he it. Had, he too. definitely had seen it, but he still maintains that he'd never seen it. <laughs> but in the first instance of the wrestling, he was right. <laughs> But he was a grown man and I was an eight-year-old child. Oh, oh my shit, God. Dad's in. Yeah. Dad's yeah. in. Oh, this is it. This is what I was waiting for. It's got more entertaining. way better. Oh, and actually, that was a double DQ, wasn't it? That wasn't was, that match? Oh, yeah, because Dad came that in. That match did a double disqualification. Yeah. 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 So there we go. A little yeah. double DQ in there as well. What? Oh, I missed some of that. What happened there, then? Who who came in first? Dishonoured or...? <laughs> I don't know. We were too busy talking about your dad and whether or not he, <laughs> whether or not he watched Speed. <laughs> <laughs> And then the first, well, the next match was the first title fight, which was for the Intercontinental Championships. Junkyard. And that was Junkyard Dog yep. um, versus Greg Valentine. Oh, oh shit. He's got music. He's got an intro. Fucking yeah, come on, Junkyard yeah. Dog. Just because you've got an intro and a chain. I like his trousers. Just, I'd get those that say thump on the bum. <laughs> Let's get you some bump trousers <laughs> to wear next yeah. time. You will get some Essex girls that probably do wear trousers with thump really. Yeah. I don't know why I said Essex. Like, where, where's... I think that. I think it's fair. Well, I totally agree with you. Maybe. He looks scared.
What do we think of this one? Like, it's not one that... It was a bit odd. I mean... Well, it doesn't it was... super stand out to me. No. Ooh. I think Valentine had a few in the dressing room. In the <laughs> dressing room. <laughs> What's he what doing? What's going on? What's he... <laughs> What's... What is this? It's like playing Twister. That is the weakest <laughs> attempt at headbutts I've ever seen. Well, those headbutts, I thought he was barking at him. <laughs> There's a lot of jumping on each other's dicks in this. Like a lot of it. <laughs> that was great. They're committed to that might balls. be my that might be my new favourite bit. I don't know about you guys, but WrestleMania one's making me really tired. <laughs> Oh, do you know what? I actually think it's better than I thought it was going to be. I need another nine second match to wake me up. So the match went backwards and forwards a bit, right? If we talk about the match, like, a bit of like manager interference. Go on. Go on, get him. Oh no, he's going to get oh, the score comes. Boy, Oh, he's hit his manager. <laughs> Mate, Junkyard Dog didn't even <laughs> he duck. He didn't even move. <laughs> he did just hit his arm <laughs> over him. <laughs> he just hit him. This is the Greg thing Valentine the pinned um, Junkyard Dog yeah. with his feet on the ropes. Yeah. He thought he'd won, got his belt. Started walking away. Sonna told the ref that's what happened. The ref said, oh, no, no, carry on. And then he called him out, counted him out. He counted him out because he come back in. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, because yeah. it was a count out, it wasn't a title. The title didn't yeah. swap hands. Mm -hmm. Look at that guy. Look at, he's almost as red as his pants. Like, it almost looks like he's naked at this point. He's like a raisin. How much roidage do you think went on there? Oh. I, I don't know if there's a lot of roids. I think they were just eating a lot of beef because like they're, they're not like super <laughs> Very constipated. Yeah, they're that's just look they're at him, look at him. <laughs> Do you tell me that's not a man who's constipated? He's <laughs> like a <laughs> he looks like a hernia. <laughs> but, um, it was disappointing that ending. Yeah. I want a jump out dog to win. Yeah, well, I, think, I, mean, yeah. I, I think a lot of us called I mean, he dog. did win. In a well, roundabout yeah. way. But he didn't get a belt. But it more added to us then calling out every match <laughs> afterwards where it had a questionable ending and then be like, why didn't the ref just reverse their decision there once mm. they found out the truth? Which kind of leads us into the next match. So I think this was the, was this the first tag team match we had? Yeah. 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 So we had, oh yeah, so we had the, the, the enemies of America. <laughs> the enemies of America at the time. Yeah. So obviously... Even if you watched any films growing up in the 80s, yeah. the Russians especially Definitely were, the, were the bad guys. Yeah. Oh, oh shit, look at this! Holy fuck. These two men, Nikolai Volkov and Iron Sheik with Fred Plassey and their side. Iron Sheik. That is a great moustache. Like Bronson. I recognise him, you know. Yeah, so do I. Because he's obviously not Russian, is he? What? <laughs> These aren't Russians! <laughs> That's not a sheik. <laughs> Fuck off, I'm not having it. You just my childhood. <laughs> I'm not having it. They were kind of the most characterful up until that point. Yeah. And probably actually, I would say, throughout the whole event, were probably the most charactery people, like the people that were yeah, clearly most yeah, playing, yeah. A, playing a part. Mm, I yeah, mean, yeah. Sheik had those lovely shoes that you liked. What yeah, were you the calling them? Leprechaun shoes. Leprechaun shoes, genie, genie shoes. Genie shoes. You, know. you, you want a pair? What are they called? Well, eat brass ones. They're winkle pickers. Well, I think winkle. Yeah, wink shoes with curly toes are called winkle pickers. Right. I think he's he is the definition of brick shit house. Look at his shoes as well. He's got the little. Oh my god, he <laughs> has! <laughs> How have we missed that? He's got little noddy shoes. <laughs> that's from when he winkle does pickers, that's, that's from when he does panto in winter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll Google it. Yeah. Yeah. Winkle pickers. Are. Winkle right. pickers. So, not correct wrestling. Well, like I said, right. even then, I don't. I bet they're not. Traditional ir Iranian attire. No they've, they've just gone into a <laughs> fancy dress shop and gone. <laughs> yeah, they probably look like someone yeah. in the Middle East wears these. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've got a full genie costume. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the little the little hat might be too far. I wouldn't be but... surprised if they gave him that to wear. And he's like, no, yeah, I'm come not on. too. Because he was Iranian. He was Iranian. We looked that up. Yeah. He was Iranian. Don't tell us just like when Borat went and got in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruno went uh, and got in the, yeah, the when he did, ring in the hillbilly. Yeah, when he did the manly men <laughs> fight or whatever it yeah. was called. Look, how many? You, the, how many? How much of the crowd do you reckon actually think they're really Russian? Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent of that crowd. Um, and they were going against the blandest team. Yeah, US Express. <laughs> What's uh, that? Uh, Why has he got tampons on his face? Hey man. 
Oh my god, the guy on the right is creepy as fuck. <laughs> He's he man, isn't he? But they keep doing this, they keep going so close to each other. I don't know. Going, what is that on his face? Look at him. So, so in world politics, are Iran and Russia friends in general? Does anybody know? <laughs> You tell us. What do you think? 1985. <laughs> I think at this point, you've got to remember, America doesn't know where anything is. They're just very scared of anything that isn't America. Nothing's so, changed. So, so, so these are enemies. So who do we want to win, by the way? Because I'm well Bad. behind. Well, I'm well the behind the villages. You don't, you don't want these two balls <laughs> on the left. Yeah, yeah, who are they? Exactly. Because well, the, the, the blonde one creeps me out. He's an Aryan dreamboat. That should be his <laughs> wrestling be. name. The Aryan dreamboat. He comes out <laughs> with a little moustache. <laughs> blonde moustache, though. Yeah, blonde moustache. <laughs> blonde moustache. Blonde moustache. Blonde moustache. Blonde moustache. Blonde moustache. But he's got like, a, he's got like shorts. Like, kind of just, it's like an SS oh, no, uniform. But like, <laughs> like an SS uniform, but his shorts. <laughs> Entering the Aryan Dreamboat. <laughs> he was a big guy though, wasn't he? Like he, was he made big, people yeah. like the Iron Sheep look tiny. Yeah. Aryan do you Dreamboat. reckon like they do? Like, you know, like they do with um, films where they have like in the Hob- Lord of the Rings, they built like trenches to make the ho- the ho- make Gandalf yeah. look taller. Yeah. Do you reckon they choose small refs? <laughs> Who do you reckon has to wash the, like the pants and stuff? Like, yeah. <laughs> Their mums. <laughs> I think it's the English dude that does the. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna see. You're gonna see someone walk off. They're gonna flick their pants on two sides. <laughs> How did it end? What happened? Iron right? Sheep says, pinned. Yeah, the Iron Sheep. Yeah, they. Pin, oh, we hit him with oh, the cane. Oh, their manager. They had that old, oh, that little yeah. old man with a cane. Iron yeah. Sheep. Yeah, Iron Sheep took oh, the cane Iron off the manager. Took the cane, yeah. Oh. Hit him round the back. Yeah. Snapped in half. Yeah. He hit. While, he had kept him boring. The referee was being um, distracted. Distracted. Yeah. 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 Which then allowed anti-America. To, to win. To win. So they won, but in a very anti-America kind of way. Yeah. So that allowed the American audience to still keep throwing stuff at them afterwards. <laughs> the baddies yes, won. Get and then the new champions. Get well, in there. Are they going to do what they did in the last match? Where someone... Someone then goes, but they cheated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was probably, if I'm joking aside about the baby match from earlier on, that was probably one of the best matches yeah, of the night, yeah. I would yeah. say. Those anti-Americans, hey, will they ever learn? So, uh, this is kind of unplanned. I edited this whole video together. Then YouTube had a real problem with the amount of WWE footage I was using. So, 47 attempts later, I've cut the video in half and you've reached that halfway point. Congratulations, well done. I'm proud of you. But don't worry, if you want to watch the rest of this episode of Back to the Mat, click that link right now and it will take you over to part two, where we will be having brilliant powerful, in-depth discussion about the final three matches. Have a good one.